What's up, everybody? Salandia Hammond here, affectionately known as Sue Ham Baby, going here live with Ed Wilson. Let me see if I can tag him real quick. Get him up on this broadcast. I think I got him tagged. See if I can bring him on. Uh, let's see. Bring you on. Sounds now, Ed. It's How's it sound? Sound good. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> we good, we good. Can you hear me real good? I hear you uh, clearly, man, loud and That's clear. Hey, everyone who's joining the broadcast, can you hear us really good? Let us know. Hey, Octavia, what's going down? So, Ed, it, even though I joined, even though I started it, it's still your show. Hey, listen. I'm excited. I'm excited, Sue. I'm, I'm I'm excited. I know we've been talking for a while, in reference to uh, Beautiful Minds play. Um, listen. Yes. It, <laughs> when my wife and I came down to the play uh, a couple of months ago, it was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I must say, you and your cast has done an awesome job with this play, man. I I I can't wait to watch thirtieth. I mean, I I can't wait to watch thirtieth. I cannot wait to watch thirtieth. Let, let me just say this about you and your wife. You guys are phenomenal. Ed didn't know me from, a, what did they say, a grain of salt? A can of paint or something, you know. A can of paint or some, some dirt on the ground. How about that? Some sand at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Ed didn't know me, but he knew my sister, Shanika Hammond Brown, and he came out to the show. And I thought you were from Columbia, but you're, cl you're I mean, you're close to Columbia, Elliot. Country. Right? Country, okay. But Ed and his wife, they came out, and after the show, Ed, you blew me away when you was like, yo, this show got to be everywhere. And then all of a sudden, you and your wife took it upon yourselves to help me start marketing this show because you knew the importance of it. And then the fact that you actually got to witness grown men and women, as well as children in the audience, crying because of the impact of the stage play. So I just want to say thank mm -hmm. you to you and Mrs. Wilson. I appreciate that. And when you say witness one of the grown men... Hey, you like that. <laughs> I put myself out there, man, because it the play was it was so real. The play was so real. That's why I say when you wrote this, when you pick your cast, you did a phenomenal job. Um, that's why it was it, it, it was a big thing for my wife and I to jump on board to push it because I know how passionate we are about youth. And with mm -hmm. the play, we were thinking that oh, we were going to have a good time to hang out. But once we got there and really yeah. seen what the play was. We were sitting in our seat like every youth got to see this. Every parent need to wow. see this. So that's why it was just, we were honored and, you know, grateful to be able to help, be able to assist with anything. So that's why I was, you know, as Shanika tell you, I'm a go-getter. So when it comes to, yes, you know, you putting things together, I'm, I'm that one that's going to run, especially when I know it's for a good cause. And this beautiful mind play, oh, my God, it, it's, it's a must-see. It's a must-see. Well, you know, one of the things, um, I'm going to be honest with you, this is the hardest play I've ever had to write. Wow. I guess because, and, and the funny thing is, let me tell you why. It was the ego mm -hmm. thing. Because I was trying to outdo myself from my other uh, five, six plays. And I was like, yeah, I got to be better. And so because the ego was trying to take over, none of the talent would be downloaded. None of the creative would be downloaded from God. And then when I said, you know what, God, just use me. I want this play to heal man, woman, boy, and girl. And I'm telling you, Ed, at that time, stuff started to flow. And so it, it, it's just so amazing. But it, just to get the testimonies from people, adults and children, especially adults saying that I realized I hadn't healed from issues of bullying that I dealt with as a child and as an mm -hmm. adult. And a, and a lot of people think that you only get bullied as a child, but you get bullied as an adult as well. And then to have parents call me and say, hey, because I took my child to your play, my child felt comfortable enough to open up to me and say, mom, I'm being bullied at school. So I was like, okay, this is, this is way beyond me. And the whole time I had been telling the cast, I said, yo, this play is going to change lives, save lives, impact right. lives, heal souls. I said, so, uh, and we were, Maurice and I, we were hard on them. We were like, yo, because this ain't about my brand. This is not about money. This is about 
uh, really impacting lives and healing people. But also, you know, the great thing about the play wasn't, it was heavy, but it was also had a lot of comedy. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> and, and, and one of the things I wanted to do was write this play from the perspective of the parent, the educator, the bully, and the victim, so that anyone who came to this play, they could actually relate to it and see themselves on stage. And I know for a fact, I'm a big advocate for the arts, and I know for a fact that the arts change lives. And when people can look at a TV or look at a film or look at a stage play and see themselves there, sometimes they get to see a different perspective. And sometimes, you know, those stories and those actors, they pull on those heartstrings and they cause them to say, you know what? I need to shift my mind. I need to move from this stage to a better stage. So I, I just thank God. I'm glad you were there. And I'm glad that you're bringing a bunch of people yes. to Sumter, South yes, Carolina. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. We, we are. We are definitely bringing a group with us. And we're going to reach out to, man. And anybody that's on this live, whether you're a youth leader at a church, whether you're a mentor, whether you're an aunt, uncle, do your best. Do your best. Yes. I cleared my schedule for March 30th. I was supposed to be in New Orleans March 30th. I will be in Sumter, South Carolina, Patriot Hall, supporting this play, Beautiful Minds. It's a must-see. It's, it's not, and it's wow. not only for the kids. I promise you, parents. No. I promise you, parents. Once you get there and you're in your seat, from the beginning, the middle, and <laughs> the end, listen, man, I, 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 I won't tell you to play, but what I will say is every adult, every kid, needs to be at Patriot Hall March 30th. Need to be there March 30th. It's a must it's a must see. It's a yeah. must see. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's man. definitely a must. -see. And you know that's that's my birthday. Really? Too. So yeah, yeah. You know when you when you told me uh last I think it was last night we mm -hmm. spoke and you said, Yo Sue, I'm supposed to be at an mm -hmm. event in New mm -hmm. Orleans, but I made a commitment right. to you. So I wanna I wanna throw that right. out there, y'all honor your commitments this man is honoring his commitment and i thank you so much again he didn't know me from a can right. of paint and i thank you so much but that's also my birthday and i was like man the best birthday gift that i can have is really to be able to just touch people in that audience i mean like people really people who don't people who don't know me you know you'll get to know me and you'll understand that my passion is living my dreams and inspiring other people to live, love, learn, and laugh and to follow their dreams, to live the best life that they can live. And the way God has blessed me to be able to do that is through the art of storytelling, through plays and films and, and, and hosting. And so I just want everybody to be there because I know it's going to be a great night. Um, you coming back a second time. time. And we're going to add some new stuff in there, oh too. Oh, my God. For anybody God. that's been there before, we're bringing some new stuff. Listen, Sue, <laughs> I, I must say, talent must run in your family. Talent has to run in your family. <laughs> I'm not. My mom and dad. Listen, I'm not going to tell this play, but y'all, we all know Sydney Cameron Brown. You have to. <laughs> you have to be at this play. Oh, my. You have to be at this play. Have to be at this play. <laughs> Hey, they have never seen Shanika Hammond Brown like they will see her in the stage play Beautiful Minds. Y'all see her with the wind blowing behind her outfits and stuff <laughs> like that, right? Like she floating on air. <laughs> but when you see her in this play, it's 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 just crazy. Right. First of all, your gut gonna bust open from laughing right. so hard. Um it's six of us, man, and every last one of us are just funny to the yes. core, and Shanika just takes it to a new level in the play Beautiful Mind. So if y'all come out and check Shanika Hammond Brown out, she's killing it. So so <laughs> is, is there any way, Sue, that they can go online to purchase? Or, are there live tickets? What would you have them to do for the ones that are on tonight? Please go online and get your tickets at suhamplays.com. S-U-E-H-A-M-P-L-A-Y-S.com. Somebody type that below. Um, there's VIP tickets and there's regular general admission tickets. And even if you can't come, maybe you can sponsor a child or an adult that maybe needs to be there. And so we're, my goal is to send 100 people to the play free. And that will happen based on you know, money that I put into the pot and also if you donate to be there. So if you can't be there, that doesn't mean you can't um, help someone else be there. But yeah, definitely go online and get the tickets at suhamplays.com. And that's Patriot Hall, right? Oh my God. 
Patriot Hall. It is so beautiful in Sumter, South Carolina. Uh, and, and I want to tell y'all, we have some, if I may say so myself, we got a beautiful set. Uh, we got a beautiful set. We got talented actors. We got a story that makes sense, mm -hmm. okay? Definitely. <laughs> it ain't no Tom. It ain't no Tom Foolery, <laughs> Chitlin Circuit type thing, all right? Because, <laughs> you know, a lot of times, and I have to put the disclaimer out there, a lot of times people hear about local mm -hmm. plays, and they already turn their head, they're, they're, you know, they're like, ah, I'm, I'm not going. And, and, and I promise you, I promise you, we believe in excellence, and we execute in excellence, and it's not what you think when you typically think of a local play, because most people typically think it's going to be right. garbage, and that's not the case. Um, I promise you will enjoy the show. You will get great messages. So many different subliminal messages in there. Um, you will enjoy the venue. It's beautiful. Uh, Patriot Hall in Sumter, South Carolina. And um, you're going to enjoy the atmosphere. You're going to feel the love as soon as you step inside the building. I say again, every principal that I'm connected to, every assistant principal, every youth leader, every youth organization leader, you definitely want to have your kids at this play. You definitely want to see if parents are available to come to this play. If the parents aren't available, please, please, please get the kids there. Bullying is a big, a big thing that we overlook yes. until things happen. Yes. Bullying is a big thing that we overlook too until things happen. And then it's like, yes. where was the signs? Beautiful minds will give you every sign that you need as a parent, as a friend, even as somebody that's just sit back paying attention, even as a janitor. Mm -hmm. This stage play will you give you everything, everything you need, everything. Mm. You know, I love that how you brought up the janitor because one of the things in this play, um, I pay, I play tribute to janitors, custodians, because a lot of people look down on them. And in this play, we actually lift our janitors up because believe it or not, they have a pulse. Mm -hmm on what's going on in the school, because they're everywhere. Yes. And uh, in this play, we show how janitors really impact the life of a child. So uh, like I said, it's told from every perspective, man. Um, if you're feeling like, oh, it's a play about bullying, it's, it's not nothing for me, you are absolutely mm -hmm. incorrect. Definitely. I promise you. Totally Definitely. incorrect. This play is for educators, parents, bullies, victims, janitors, custodians, anybody with a heartbeat who is seven years or older is it's for you. you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I must agree with that. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So are, are you looking to possibly move this play from something to moving it someplace else? What What are your ideas? Uh, if, if, if I must ask, Man. and if you must say. I got a lot of ideas, Ed, but there's also something big that I'm working on. So, this may be the last showing of Beautiful Minds for at least a year or two years. And I promise you guys, this is not a marketing scheme to try to get you to come out. I promise you it's not. But I have something that I'm working on that's really, really big, something that I've been wanting for a long time, and God is making it possible. Right. So, uh, you know, wherever your energy goes, that's what grows. Uh -huh. I'm going to have to start shifting that energy and that focus. So that's why I'm like, man, I've been, we've been going so hard. You've been marketing hard. I hired a street team. I don't know if y'all, are y'all seeing my Facebook ads in Sumter and Columbia comment? Yes. If you're seeing my Facebook ads, I've been throwing money in Facebook ads, uh, radio ads start on Friday. We got TV commercials coming up. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on because I'm trying to get as many people out to Sumter, South Carolina as I can. Cause I don't know when I will do this play again. And here's the thing, Ed. If you look on YouTube, if you look around, there's not a lot of stuff about bullying right. out right. there. So we're bringing it to you live locally, and we're trying to get you guys out there. Because everybody's like, oh, I'll go to the next one. It might not right. be the next one. Right. It might not be right. the next one. You need to get to this one because I'm telling you, the art changes lives. Bring those kids out there. Bring those adults out there, and you're going to see a change in Listen. them. So the answer, long story short, I don't know because I got I got <laughs> I got other stuff right, that I'm being right, called right, to do. Right, 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 right. And and you say wherever your energy go, you'll grow. That's what grows. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So and I love the stage plays, and I'm not saying I'm done with them. But what I am saying is that this may be the last beautiful minds for a minute because I have other things that's going on and. um, 
I'm being called to it. And it's like, I've been asking for it for years. So now I got to go to it. So guys, I picked a really pretty nice venue, a lot of seats because I wanted to accommodate as many people as I can, just in case this is the last shebang bang. And it holds 979 Man. And, and and so there's plenty of room for you to be there. Don't don't be that person. I'm gonna go to your next one. Is it on DVD? I'm 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 probably not gonna release the DVD to the public because I understand how important this is and there's some things I wanna do with it first. That may take me a year to two years to get it mm -hmm. done. So you need to be in the building the same way. Y'all run to see Tyler Perry. Y'all come run see your girl, Sue Hamm. Got come on, man. Yes. Come see Sue Hamm, baby. Listen, listen. I, <laughs> and, and like she say, man, this is not a tactic to get you. But listen, you, no. you have to be here. Listen, this is my second time going to see this. And if it was a third, I would go back. It was just that great. No. I would go, Thank yes, you. I would go back again and see this play, man. That's why we're bringing a big group a youth, youth, and mm -hmm. we're trying to get parents to come as well because we understand the importance of supporting and we also understand the importance of allowing our youth to see what they're dealing with and how they could have, yeah. how, the help is right there. The help is right there. Yeah. They just got to be willing to reach out and we as parents have to be able to sit back and say, I noticed this and not get so yeah. busy where we don't see what's going on. So, that is yeah, so cool. I, I'm I'm grateful, man. I'm 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 grateful that you were able to get on tonight. That we were finally able to get everything going. I, I'm just I'm excited. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for your cast. I'm excited. I can't wait to watch 30th. We will be in the building. <laughs> we will be in the building. Man. Yeah, and I say again, any you, any you any amazing. principals, any assistant principal, any guidance counselors, any mentors, any uh, male figures, uncles, aunts, cousins. You need to be in the building March 30th. Mm -hmm. You this I promise mm -hmm. you this this stage play man will have you seeing things on a whole nother level. I promise you you need to be in the building yeah. March 30th. You do. Yeah, you do. Oh, wow. I'm grateful. Thank you. You got you got me amped And listen, up. <laughs> let's go, man. You know, I'm a support. I'm definitely gonna support and anything I can do to help, you know, I'm 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 definitely gonna do that. Anything I can do to help. My my passion is kids. My passion is the youth. Wow. So if I can get at least myself, if we can get at least 30 to 40 youth between myself, my wife, and everybody else that's working with us, if we can get 30 or 40, mm -hmm. I'm pleased. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely wow. pleased. And that's on our end. So I'm, I'm pleased. Yeah, I love it, man. We just had a group last night that just purchased 20 tickets from King Street, South Carolina. When we did the play here in King Street in November, they were like, Sue, are you going to bring it back? And I'm telling you, my intent really was to bring it back to King Street, South Carolina in January of this mm -hmm. year. But then I looked at my calendar and all the things that I have going on. And I was like, no, I can't do it in, in King Street. I got to do it somewhere that's a little bit bigger, but that's kind of like, you know, centrally located to where people with King Street wanted to get to it. They right. can. Because Sumter, Sumter for most people is probably about an hour from mm -hmm. King Street. And so that's why we chose Patriot Hall, because... I know that we're going to a different level and we may not be able to do this play again. And I wanted to afford as many people as I could the opportunity to be in the building and witness a life-changing event. This is not propaganda. Mm. This is not hype. Uh, I promise you, God has given us a great story with great actors, with a great team to bring it together. And all we need is for you to be in the building on March 30th. Yes, ma'am. Listen. How they say when you get serious, look into my eyes. <laughs> you want to be in this building. You want to be in the building March 30th. You want to be in the building March 30th. You do not want to miss this. Yeah. Parents, you don't want to miss this. Bring your kids out. Let them see what's going on. And it's a lot of stuff that they're dealing with now. Past peer pressure. Past peer pressure. Past bullying. It's a lot of stuff that this play is going to shine light on. You do not. I repeat, you do not want to miss this play. You do not want to miss this play. Yeah, because thank you for saying that because it, it's not just about bullying in this play. This play is also talking about acceptance, mm. being mm. comfortable in your own skin. Mm. It's also talking about forgiveness. Mm. It's also talking about dealing with past hurt because, you know, hurt people hurt right. people. So 
we're talking about that. We're talking about love and second chances. So, I mean, the messages, there's so many. Uh, I don't want people to get it. Oh, it's just bullying. No, there's so many right. different messages. I guarantee you, everybody that comes there is going to leave with something. Right. I almost went church on you. I almost said, <laughs> you come there, you won't leave it the same. <laughs> but I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Sue, listen, it, it was an honor for you to take time out tonight to even be on this live with me. Like I say, I'm I'm grateful for the opportunity to be a part, just to be a part of something so great, so special. And listen, I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Man, thank yes, you. Thank you for even doing this. Um, so... I, I just, I thank you. I, I thank everybody for watching tonight. I thank you. I ask that you please share this video. Post it in your church groups, pro, post it in whatever groups you have. Tell somebody to watch it. Share it to your page. Do whatever you need to do to help us get this word out. This is a movement. We are about yes. changing, impacting lives, inspiring people to live, love, learn, and laugh, to follow their dreams to success. Yes, ma'am. Listen. But it's getting is how they say it's getting a little late. Don't want <laughs> the sun don't, don't want to keep the people long. We don't want to tear it long, you know. We don't, we don't, no, no, we don't no, want, no. We don't want to tear it long. But Sue, I thank you for getting on with me tonight. I thank you uh, for everything that you're doing and this play, man. Is I've seen it before. It's phenomenal. So I can't wait till we bring our group in on the thirtieth, so these kids can really see and can adjust to some things and parents as well. So I'm forever grateful for yeah. you, thankful for your time. Um, everybody else, like Sue said, I just thank you guys for getting on tonight. Thank you so much. You could have been doing anything else, but you wanted to get yes. on here and, and actually see what was going on. And if you're on this live and you're in the city or if you're near the city, be in the building March 30th. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, All right. man. Good night. Good Peace. night.